Oh my gosh, is this the Great Wall? I made it to the Great Wall. Good afternoon from the base of the Great Wall of China. Right now, right ahead of me, I can see the Great Wall of China and it is pretty epic. So if you are new to these videos and new to my channel, my name's Ellie Quinn and I am a travel blogger over at thewanderingquinn.com. And right now I am backpacking around China with a company called The Dragon Trip. So I'm on their 25 day China loop tour um, and we've just got to Beijing. So my video before this, this was in Chengdu where we saw some pandas and we saw the giant Buddha which was really really good and then after that we went to Xi'an which is home to the terracotta warriors I'm not gonna lie I wasn't particularly impressed with the terracotta warriors um, they're a little bit disappointing but at least I have seen them now and then we went on to Shaolin which is the home of Kung Fu here in China and we went to Shaolin Temple and we got to have a Kung Fu lesson ourselves and it was really really fun just to experience the kung fu here because you know it's a really kind of ancient tradition in china and it was good to see that it's still alive um, and being encouraged here today then we got on an overnight train from shaolin up to beijing so we didn't get much sleep last night but we are all still in really good spirits especially now that we have driven out of beijing and come to the base of the great wall of china and what's really exciting is that we're not actually just going to see the great wall of china we are going to be camping on the wall which is absolutely epic and this is something that you can't really do yourself you have to do it through a tour company and I believe it's not even that popular so I feel super super lucky now we are about to pick our tents up and our sleeping bags and everything like that it's just started raining which is really annoying because it was absolutely beautiful morning and yeah now it's really raining so we'll see it's gonna be fun guys <laughs> right our ponchos are on it is raining right now Woo! we've got all of our tents our mats our sleeping bags i feel like a pack horse we could have got a donkey actually and we declined the offer it is absolutely <laughs> tipping it down you can hear thunder and we've seen lightning well we're not turning back now good news is it has stopped raining absolutely knackered this hill is really really tough but i guess you don't get to the great wall of china from the base without walking up a hill and I'm hoping it's gonna be worth it but this is definitely definitely pretty tough look at what we were walking up this is just pure Chloe, mad one word. Wow. <sighs> oh my gosh is this the great wall I made it to the Great Wall. Wow. I just need to get up here. Yeah, because sunrise is going to be over there. Look at our humble abode. Thanks, Josh. <laughs> just in case you wake up late and you put the unzipper. Okay, my proper camera is back out now rather than the GoPro. And just look at this. We are literally camping right next to the wall. I did not think that we would be like this close. And the sun, oh my gosh. Look at that, it's so, so amazing. So we just need to wait for everyone to pitch all of their tents and then we can have a walk all along the wall, basically until the sun goes down, until it starts getting dark. One of the guys just shouted out from the top and said that this is the best view he's ever seen from the top. Wow, we are so lucky. This is amazing. So now we're just having it a walk along the wall. Our guide said that we could go pretty much as far as we wanted. However, um, apparently if you were to walk the whole of this wall, it would take you six months. So she did say just to make sure that we don't go too far, <laughs> that we do come back around before it gets dark. Um, but we were just saying that, I mean, you don't really get to experience this. We were saying that 
kind of feels like I've been here before because obviously I've seen so many photos of the wall online. Um, but most of the time you see the photos where all the tourists go, which is just like the first bit, which is closest to Beijing, which is not where we are. And you don't normally see this side because not many people come this side. And so it is just an absolutely amazing experience, even just to be here, let alone to camp out here. Um, but we will be camping out and we're feeling, oh, okay, this isn't that easy to walk down. Um, we are feeling pretty positive about a sunrise tomorrow morning, so we'll see. alarm's just gone off it's five o'clock in the morning the sun's gonna rise at 5 10 but i feel like it's gonna be really cloudy anyway it, it was, sounds rainy it sounds rainy but i think it's just the wind <sighs> that was a damp chilly uncomfortable <laughs> night <laughs> how are you doing laura fabulous fabulous <laughs> So I guess this technically ooh, is what we actually came here for, is to <laughs> walk the Great Wall at sunrise. It's super cold. I'm back down at the campsite now. We've got about an hour until we need to pack up and leave, walk all the way down, go two hours back to Beijing, and then we've got three days of full sightseeing in Beijing. So I'll bring you along, show you Beijing. Today is our last day in Beijing and we've got a free day before we leave on an overnight train tonight and our guide recommended that we go to Summer Palace because that would be the cultural thing to do and a really good thing to do in Beijing but we decided we wanted to come to the Friends Cafe. There is a full-on cafe here in Beijing in this really random location in a shopping centre um, by a complete like fanatic of Friends. <laughs> is look behind me it's joey's apartment which is super super cool <laughs> 